Hi, Bob here. Welcome to a strong and flexible low back workout for seniors. core exercise is called the ball bend. You're going to sit on a nice sturdy chair in your best seated posture possible, probably out to the edge a little bit, freeing up your hamstrings and your quads. Pretend that you're holding a fairly substantial ball, about so big, and whatever hand is on top, 
the direction of the fingers is the direction you're going to bend your body. So I'm going to lean this way, but not just yet. I want you to know that there's a muscle, a core muscle deep inside your low back on both sides of your spine called your quadratus lumborum or your QL muscle. That's a very important core muscle that helps you bend and stretch. So I'm holding on to this ball here, going to lean this way, keep holding on to the ball until I can't lean any further. Keep your bum glued to that chair and then look up in the opposite direction. Turn your head and look up. Hold it there for 10 seconds. Working the quadratus lumborum low back core muscle, the QL. That's about 10. Up we get and relax for a second. I'm going to do it on the other side. So the arm comes up here. You're holding the top of the ball and the bottom of the ball. It's a pretty big ball here, right? And you're going to slowly lean toward the direction that your fingers are pointing on top as far as you can go. And then when you're ready, Turn your head and look up. Now, if you can't turn your head and look up because for some reason it's too tight or it hurts, don't. Just hold the ball and lean to the side. The QL, quadratus lumborum core muscle. You're working it. Is that 10? I would think so. Straighten back up and relax. Let me just show you where the quadratus lumborum muscles are. I got my hands on them. Right there. Can you see? They need to be worked. You should do that exercise at least three times during your workout. Exercise number two for the core is the 90-90. That's all about 90 degrees. So I'm seated in my chair again if I've got my legs in the right position, I'll have a 90 degree angle at the hips. I'll have a 90 degree angle at the knees and I'll have a 90 degree angle at the feet. If I'm sitting in the right position. Good. Now I'm going to take my legs. Doesn't matter which way you turn them first because we're going to do both sides. I'm going to just take them and bend them. I'm going to sit out on the edge of my chair a little bit so I can bend them. And check to see if they're still 90. Is the angle at the knee 90 and the ankle 90? Both sides? Pretty much. Okay? So, I'm going to turn this way away from the leg that's sort of on a longer angle down here. This one? I'm going to turn this way. So, my right leg, in this case, this is my right, your left. My right leg, I'm going to turn away from that one. So I'm going to turn this way and then I'm going to take my arm and I'm going to bend over and I can hold on to the chair to do this. I'm going to bend over and reach in that direction. You should feel it right in your low back, right there at your quadratus lumborum. There you go. Hold it there for 10 seconds. I'm holding on to the chair with this hand. You could take both hands out there, but one's good enough. 10 seconds. Turn, relax, straighten up. Now we've got to work the quadratus lumborum core muscle on this side. So we take our legs, make them 90 degrees at the joints. I'm sitting on the edge of the chair a little bit, going in that direction. Pretty much looks good. So I lean over, now maybe I'll hold onto the chair so I can lean a little further over into this space. My whole body goes that way with my arms stretched way out. The 90-90 core exercise for the QL, quadratus lumborum. That's 10 seconds. Relax. The third core exercise for the QL or quadratus lumborum is called a press to a fold. And I'm going to stand up, take my chair, and turn it this way just so you can see it. 
hold on to the back of it, get my feet back far enough so that my arms are going to be really, really straight. Maybe I'll move the chair a little bit. So I got to get my feet really, really far back. Now notice my feet are still over my hips. I'm going to fold forward so that my upper body is between my arms. My head's in neutral here between my arms. My feet are flat, shoulder width apart, right? And maybe I can push the chair a little bit further. But I'm forming something like an upside down L with my body. This is the fold part and the press is holding onto that chair with straight, straight arms. This works my QL in my low back on either side of my spine. And I hold it for 10 seconds. Breathe normally. Keep your head in neutral. And then slowly move your feet in and straighten up. The next three exercises for your core are done on a mat. So you need a rug or some kind of a, a yoga mat or something to work on down here. And you have a muscle called the multifidus muscle that runs from your low back really close to your spine all the way up to the neck. And it's on each side of your spine and it's triangular and it sort of overlaps to keep you um, in a nice stable position. Then you have another muscle that goes around your belly button area all the way around like a girdle and it's really close to your spine too. So these next three exercises are gonna work those two core muscles. So the first one is a curl up. We're gonna lie on the mat, put a little tiny pillow underneath our neck or a rolled up towel. We're gonna straighten one leg and flex our foot, which means point our toe up to the ceiling. The other leg is bent and the foot is flat on the mat. We don't want our low back, our lumbar spine, to flatten out. So we're gonna put our fingers underneath there. Now, if you can't do that because your shoulders don't allow you to do that, you can get a little towel and put it underneath your low back. Once we've got everything in position here, head on the pillow, or at least the neck is on the pillow, and the leg is straight on one side and bent on the other, we're going to tighten everything up in our lower body. We're going to pull that toe toward our nose to tighten up the lower leg. We're going to push the knee on the straight leg down into the floor. We're going to squeeze our quads and our hamstrings. Remember, quads on top, hamstrings underneath. We're going to tighten those up with our brain too as we straighten the leg. We're going to squeeze our bum muscles, especially on the side where there's a straight leg. We're going to squeeze the pelvic floor muscles, the ones down between your legs. And once we've got everything really, really tight, breathing comfortably too, that's a lot to remember, right? We're going to lift our head straight up. In other words, we're going to keep our chin off our chest and lift our head straight up, but just a little bit. Now notice the only thing that's off the ground is our head and a little bit of our shoulders. Not much, the leg is straight and nothing's moved down below there. Okay, and we hold it for approximately 10 seconds as we breathe comfortably or whatever you can hold it for. And then you relax and you switch sides. So tighten up everything on the straight leg side. Don't forget to squeeze the bum muscles, the pelvic floor muscles. You can maybe pull your belly button in if you want. That'll tighten things up down there too. That transverse abdominus girdle muscle. Flex that foot. That means point the toe to the ceiling or point it up toward your head. And once everything's really, really tight, lift your head straight up, just a couple of centimeters or inches. Breathe comfortably, hold it there, maybe for three seconds or five or 10, whatever you can hold it for and then relax, and then you're gonna do the other side. And you can do both sides as many times as you want, but at least do them 
a couple of times to get the feel of it and do it every chance you get. Like how about if you're gonna work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, include the curl up in your workout. The next core muscle uh, exercise, working that girdle and that multifidus muscle that runs up either side of your spine, like little triangles, it's a plank. And a plank, you know, is kind of like a, a static push-up. So you're gonna get on the forearms here. And make sure that your shoulders are above your elbows. And then you're going to get up on your toes or maybe on your knees, okay? It would be really nice if you could get on your toes and keep your belly off the ground or your legs off the ground. But if you have to put your knees down, at least try to keep your belly off the ground. And notice my back is supposed to be flat. I don't want my bum too high in the air like this. I don't want my tummy dragging on the ground. I don't want an arch. I want my back from my tailbone to my head to be flat. And I'm gonna try just pushing up with my toes and holding it so that I look like a plank. Plank is just a board, right? It's flat. There's nothing curved about it. You're gonna hold the plank. You're gonna breathe comfortably. When you need to have a rest, put your knees down or just take it a rest. And that you will do for say 10 seconds or three seconds or whatever you can do. And the last core exercise that we're gonna work on today is the bird dog. You've seen it before, I know you have. And yes, you can do it standing up, but I'm not showing you that today. I'm showing you the bird dog on the mat. So this is where you get the most bang for your buck. You're on your hands and your knees like you're in a table position. So you check to see if your hands are below your shoulders and are your knees below your hips. And once you get into this position, you're gonna take one arm and hold it parallel to the floor, straight out, reach with those fingertips, lower the shoulder on that side because you wanna keep your back flat, none of this slanted stuff. Hold it there. And then when you think, okay, I had enough of that side, take the other arm, hold it so that it's parallel to the floor, reach out with the fingers, okay? Lower your shoulder on that side, keep keeping your back flat. Good, as many seconds as you can hold it, that would be good. And then take the leg, straighten it out, put your toe on the floor, you don't have to lift your leg up. Keep the leg really straight, lower the hip on that side, Hold it there. And then the last position, take the other leg, straighten it out as straight as you can get it. Put your toe down on the floor and then lower your hip on that side. This is the gentle bird dog. And if it's still not gentle enough, you'll have to learn how to do it standing up. Okay, that's the bird dog. That'll work your core muscles too. We're going to finish the uh, workout with a little routine called the Golden Eight. It works two more of your core muscles, your diaphragm that you use for breathing and your pelvic floor muscles that you use to support all those important muscles in your abdomen. So um, just stand in neutral, find a spot that's got a little bit of room Maybe uh, move over here. Yeah, that should work. Maybe, maybe here. And stand in your best posture possible. That means you're grounded, right? Your feet are shoulder width apart. Uh, the bottom of your feet are glued to the floor. Shoulders are down a little bit and back and relaxed. Your chin is on that ledge. You push your chin into the back of your neck. Keep your head in neutral, all that stuff, all that good posture stuff. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to practice breathing in through our nose and exhaling through our, our mouth uh, throughout the whole thing. Just do it your, uh, at your speed the best you can, okay, that breathing part. And here I go, just follow me. 
Oh, by the way, the whole thing's done super slowly, so you shouldn't have any problems following me.